Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Welcome back to my channel. So today we have a huge ship with me video. We have 41 items here to ship out today. Today is Tuesday, September 12th. And the last time that I shipped was Friday evening. And I meant to ship yesterday, but I just wasn't able to make it over. So this is going to show my sales from Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, yesterday, Monday, and then earlier today, Tuesday. So yeah, we do have quite a bit to get through. Like I said, 41 sales, two items. The first two I will show sold in my men's closet. I do have a separate men's closet and then the rest were from my women's closet. My average sales price for this, for everything you'll see, was $30, which is incredible. I'm so excited about that. I have been working to improve that. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get into it. So our first sale, like I said, is a men's piece. These are Trafalgar brand suspenders. They are a silk brown paisley pair of suspenders with leather accents. I have talked about this brand so many times uh, and have said that it is a huge Bolo brand, a brand to be on the lookout for. Trafalgar. Their suspenders originally retail for so much money and they keep their value very well. People know the brand, they know it's super high quality, they search it out, and so yeah, someone very clearly just searched for Trafalgar suspenders on Poshmark and found these, purchased them at full price. That happens a lot in my men's closet. Um, someone will just very clearly search for something and then buy it full price. $45 which is very exciting. That made my earnings 36. I paid around a dollar for those at most at the Goodwill outlet. I found them in a stack of suspenders like a year ago and they've just been slowly selling. They've been selling anywhere from like 35 up to, I wanna say $100 each. The ones that sold for more were novelty prints, like an owl print and then a duck print. So definitely be on the lookout for novelty print Trafalgar suspenders or really any in general. Okay, so my profit on those was $35. You really cannot beat that. Second piece, last in our men's closet, is this New Tags Lucky Brand Pullover Sweater. So... I probably would not have grabbed this if it were not new with tags, but it retailed at 100 and it's also a wool blend, so it does have quite a bit going for it. It's a really nice neutral piece, great for transitional weather. It's not a super heavy knit, but it will keep you warm, especially with that wool in the fabric. So I listed this, oh the suspenders, like I said, oh I did say, I have had those for over a year now. Uh, they took a while, but this sweater I listed last week, so it sold within just a couple days. Um, I think I listed it on Friday, I want to say. I listed at 38 and was offered 32 which I was super excited about. I did accept that. My earnings were $25.60. I paid a couple dollars for this at the bins. And so my profit came out to $23.60 on this sweater. I do like picking up Lucky Brand for men. It does seem to sell pretty well. I've sold, I think a couple shirts in the past for around that $25 mark. And yeah, I usually either get really fair offers or full price sales in my men's closet. So I do love having that separated. All right, getting into women's now. We first off have a four piece bundle. First is this and other stories leopard, I don't know. It's like an abstract animal print, really feminine ruffle dress. 
This I purchased from a friend from high school. I purchased like three or four large clothing lots from her. And each item was like $12. So I did pay up for that a little bit. There were some high ticket items in those lots though that sold very fast for a lot that just kind of covered the price of everything else. Second is this Madewell silk blend velvet blouse. This I got also from the bins. It's very lightweight. I probably paid around a dollar for it. I believe I have sold this top. This might be my second or third time selling this blouse from Madewell. And it has always sold well. The velvet silk blend top. I think this sold within a week of being listed. The and other stories dress that I showed first I have had for around a year now and I relisted it last week and it sold. So you guys want to be relisting. It really does get stuff out the door. You want to get fresh eyes on it and it really does help to supplement your daily sales. A third piece is this olivaceous reptile print dress with a tiered skirt portion. It buttons down the front. It has a drawstring waist. This is really cute. I love the color. So yeah, just like a boutique kind of piece here, but I did want to get this. I knew that it would probably sell in a bundle and just kind of bump up the sale. This was another bins find. Same with this. Uh, this olivaceous dress was actually also very recently relisted. So yeah, this had been sitting for probably three or four months, relisted it, sold immediately. This Lululemon Pima Cotton tie waist t-shirt sold quickly the first time I listed it within a week or two. These Lululemon basics that are high quality usually do go pretty fast because people know they are really nice uh, quality and just very practical pieces, but they are so expensive retail. That shirt was probably, I would guess 70 to $80, and I probably listed it around like 30, 35-ish. So when the four of these were added to a bundle, the bundle price came out to 120, and I was offered 80. I countered that to 90 and then they countered me back to 87, which I did go ahead and take because like I said, the and other stories dress and this blue olivaceous dress did sit the first time around they were both listed. And so when I got an active offer on them this time that they were newly listed, I did want to go ahead and take that, get them moving and out the door. So yeah, I accepted the $87 offer, counter offer, making my earnings $69.60. I paid around 16 for everything because like I said, I got the and other stories dressed from a friend in a buyout. So yeah, 16 for everything. And so my profit came out to $53.60 on that bundle. Okay, next up, we have a pair of jeans by Lane Bryant. You may, if you watch my channel regularly, you may have remembered, or you may remember when I stumbled into a huge donation of plus size clothing. These jeans were in that donation. I listed about 10 pair of jeans. I think only, this is only the second or maybe third pair to sell. But I think once fall and winter time are in full force, they will all start selling a little bit better. So I listed these at 35. Someone liked them and so my Posture VA sent out a $31 offer with discount ship which was accepted, making my earnings $21.82. These have a little bit of weight to them, so I probably paid around $2.50 at the bins. And my 
profit came out to $19 on these pants. So love that. Happy to find these a new home. This whole donation that was made, it was all newer stuff. Like from a lot of it was like 2020 on. So yeah, I was so happy to find that stuff and rescue it from wherever it was going off to get it new homes because it really had little to no signs of wear. And no one was really picking it up other than me. Next, another relisted piece. This Lauren, Ralph Lauren skirt. I've had this for a couple months now and I just relisted it. Sold same day, maybe next day, but within a couple days. Size 10 tiered floral maxi skirt with a side zip. It's fully lined. This is so pretty and feminine. Definitely kind of has that cottage core prairie vibe to it. I love this. And you know, Lauren Ralph Lauren is a reputable brand. I have been picking it up a little bit more. It does seem to sit, but then when it eventually sells, it sells very well, like for a high price. I sold an evening dress not too long ago by Lauren Ralph Lauren for like 60 or $65. And that took a couple months to sell. So I had this skirt listed at 32. This was a polyester. If it had been silk, I would have listed it closer to 50, maybe even 60. But because it was just a polyester, I did list lower at 32. Uh, someone liked it, and so I sent them out a $28 offer with discounted shipping. My earnings were $19.42. I paid around two for this at the bins, and so my profit was $17.42 on this skirt. So yeah, my Posture VA really carried that sale. It relisted that skirt, and then after it was relisted and someone liked the new listing, Posture VA sent that person out an offer, which they accepted. So, you know, that is a very good example of how my virtual assistant basically just kind of takes the reins in my closet and keeps things moving, keeps me hands on while I'm doing other things. I highly recommend Posture VA. I do have a discount code. It's McKenzie 20. If you want to try it out, you will see throughout this haul or ship with me, so many pieces were relisted or sold via offers to likers because of Posture VA. And our next sale is one of those. This was another relisted item. So this is by the brand I Love Mr. Mittens. It's 100% wool handmade, handcrafted by artisans in Peru and Belgium. Just incredible quality piece. This I found, believe it or not, at the Goodwill outlet. It rolled out in the very last rotation of the day, right on top. I could just see this thick knit and I thought it was maybe a blanket, so I almost didn't reach for it because I don't typically buy too many blankets, but then I saw that it was a cardigan and I did reach for it. And I'm so glad that I did because this uh, cardigan retailed for over $500, around $500. And it's new with tags, which is incredible. I have had this listed for, I would say two or three months now for $300 but I wasn't really getting any action on it. And so when it was relisted, I pretty much immediately got an offer for $125. We did counter back and forth several times and we landed on $150. I probably definitely could have gotten more for this cardigan, but like I said, it had been sitting. I don't think this was the most desirable colorway, this blue and cream. If it had been a solid knit, like maybe all cream or, you know, like a brown or black color, more neutral, I think it would have sold a little bit better. So yeah, I took the 150, ran with it. My earnings were 120. I paid around six for this because it does have weight to it. And so 
my profit came out to $114 on this cardigan. That's an excellent return on my investment and this is a gorgeous piece. I want it to go to a good home and start getting some use. Like I said, it's new with tags. It's so pretty, so high quality. So yeah, happy to get this out the door. I think I am going to weigh this just to double check. I don't need to upgrade the label. No, three pounds. So that's perfect. Add our label on here. So yeah, huge bolo brand. I love Mr. Mittens. I think sometimes it's just called Mr. Mittens. Extremely high quality, probably the highest quality out there um, and extremely high re retail price. There went my chapstick. All right, next we have Tried and True Anthropology. This is by the sub brand Rosie Nira. Size small, mixed knit long line button front vest and this is really cute I love this I knew when I found this that it would sell well that it would sell quickly mainly because it has that like quirky factor to it it also just has a lot of practical aspects like it's long line a lot of people like the coverage it's kind of a lighter weight knit especially with the open knit parts of it. So it's great for transitional weather. It, you know, offers coverage and a little bit of warmth, but it's still breathable for sure. And it's nice neutral colors. You can mix and match with this. So I listed this at 38. And after, I would say, three days, maybe four days of being listed, I received a 32 dollar offer so only six dollars off list price which I thought was very fair I did accept that my earnings were twenty five dollars and sixty cents I paid around a dollar fifty for that at the Goodwill outlet and so my profit came out to twenty four dollars now we have a little free people bralette new with tags which is great Size so extra small, originally retailed at $38. It's from their Intimately line. It's like a floral crochet bralette. I had that listed at 30. This is actually also a relisted piece. I have had this couple months now and my Posture VA relisted it last week or Friday. What is today? What did I say today was? Tuesday. So yeah, within the last four days it was relisted and it sold by offer. I listed, it was relisted at 30 um, and someone offered me 25, which I accepted. So my profit on this came out to 19, which for, you know, tossing in my bag at the bins, taking a couple pictures, that is an awesome little profit I would say and when you're relisting with Posture VA they do give you the option to relist everything at a higher price like say you ran a closet clear out sale and you dropped all your prices trying to make a bunch of sales if you if you know whenever your sale is over and you're done having those low prices in your closet if you want to relist all of your inventory that didn't sell, sell. If you want to relist that at a higher price, you can just say, uh, you know, you can type in relist 25 items and then you can type in what percentage you want them to be, the price to be increased by when they are relisted, which is an awesome feature. You know, otherwise you'd have to go in and do all that by hand. So it is a huge time saver. Now we have another anthropology piece. This is by Knitted and Knotted, size small, wool, laser cut, overlay, floral overlay, blouse top. Kind of has a boxy cut to it. Very feminine, very pretty. I have had this, I want to say maybe like a month and a half. I can't remember if this was just relisted or if this sold 
I'm not sure. This might have also been relisted. I, I have been relisting like crazy. So this was listed at 32. Someone liked it. And so again, my Posture VA sent out a $28 offer with discount ship that was accepted. And so my earnings were $19 and 42 cents and my profit was $18 and 42 cents. I was a little hesitant picking this up at the bins because I wasn't sure on the style, but now that I'm thinking it back over, this does make sense and it sold pretty well because it does have that kind of vintage look to it, retro kind of granny core vibe, which is really trendy and popular. So yeah, I'm not too surprised that that sold well now that I kind of think about it more. Now we have a two piece bundle. First is this pair of Athleta pants. These pants, I wash them. So I only wash items. This is like my number one question. I do source primarily from the Goodwill outlet and everything is professionally steamed. I have a Jiffy steamer and my assistant steams every single thing that I buy, which sanitizes better than a washing machine because of the high heat. So that, you know, kills germs, sanitizes, that kind of thing. But if the piece does have a reason to be washed, maybe like a faint odor, I don't buy anything with like crazy odor, just like a faint odor or, you know, a small surface spot, I will wash it. Um, and I did these. And the drawstring got lost in the waistband, unfortunately. So these are the Athleta Farallon Heathered Wide Crop Pant. I wanted to get these even though I, I think they did just have a small surface spot because I knew they were the newer pant right off the bat because the style name was on the tag. Um, but it was a bummer when we lost the drawstring. Second... And last piece in this bundle is this Michael Starr's green wide leg jumpsuit. I just listed this, so this sold really quickly. The pants took a couple weeks, probably because of the flaw. So when the two of these were added together, the bundle price came out to 62 and I was offered 45 which I went ahead and took mainly because of the issue with the pants. Uh, my earnings were still $36 and my profit was 32. So honestly, I was still happy with that. I could have just, you know, donated those, gotten discouraged, but I listed them, you know, just hopeful that they would still sell and they did. So maybe someone with more patience than me can get the drawstring out. I did take some tweezers and try, but I just, I gave up. Okay, moving on, we have this gorgeous top blouse from Free People. This is a, it has a lace crochet floral upper with a, uh, what would you call that? Swiss dot, floral Swiss dot textured bottom portion. This is so pretty. This is called the Lina, L-I-N-A, lace blouse from Free People. And the comps on this were so good. Like it has sold several times in the past for like 40 to $50. And I don't think, yeah, mine was no exception. So I listed this at 48. Someone liked it, and so again, my Posture VA sent out a $43 offer with discount ship, which was accepted, making my earnings $31.42. I paid $2.25 for this at my Family Thrift Center outlet, and so my profit came out to $29.17. So for a free people top, that is an excellent return. Definitely a more sought after style from the brand. Now we have another new tags piece. 
This is by the brand Hardtail. I said in the haul video that this was going to be kind of an experimental piece because I do see this brand quite a bit. Hardtail Forever. I believe it was one time at one time sold at Nordstrom. I'm not sure where it was sold or where it's sold now. But I mainly got this because it did have so much going for it. It's new with tags, it's maxi length, it's a good fabric, Supima cotton blend, so it's really soft. Has the boho tie-dye print, just tons of stuff going for it. And so even though I wasn't super familiar with the brand or selling this brand, I have seen it and I do know about it, but I just never really sold it. I figured that if any piece was going to sell, it would be this one. And so that's kind of how I try out brands. And because this sold well, I had it listed at 32. And within, within a week, I was offered 28. So that was great. I accepted my earnings for $22.40 and my profit $21 on this. Because that did so well, I will continue experimenting with the brand. Next time I'll pick up hopefully a piece that has just as many sellable factors as that one. But if not, maybe a few less and we'll see if it still sells. If it doesn't still sell, then I'll have to readjust and only pick up pieces from the brand that have as many factors as that one did. So that's kind of my strategy with that. Next we have a full price sale. This is a novelty banana printed skirt in a size extra extra large. I found two of these. One of them had a London novelty print to it and then this one had bananas obviously. They both sold at full price. So yeah, I think that had a lot to do with the size prints and keywords that I added into the listing. I did add pinup, rockabilly, retro, skater, style skirt, novelty print, that kind of thing. Also, pieces with that style, the retro pinup kind of style, anything just kind of mod cloth esque that is in a size extra large and up, plus size especially, just sells phenomenally for me. And this sale supports that. Uh, notion, I guess you'd say. So I had this listed at 28. Someone offered me 23 and I didn't see the offer for a little bit. And so they just went in and purchased it at the full list price of $28. My earnings were $22.40 and my profit came out to $21.40. We have this pair of jeans by the brand Denim Forum. This brand is sold at Aritzia and it is a bolo brand. These are the Gia High Rise Carrot jeans. And I didn't know it when I found these at the bins, but someone did cut the bottom hems. They uh, cropped them themselves to make them shorter. They did a good job with it though. It was a straight cut. And so I still listed them. I just disclosed that. And they still sold okay. I had them listed at 35. And within a couple weeks, I was offered 25, which I was more than happy to take. Anytime something has been, you know, altered by someone else, unless it was like a really good job, I do kind of consider it a flaw. And so, yeah, I did accept the $25 offer. My earnings were 20 and my profit was around $18 on those jeans. Anything from Aritzia is going to be sought after. Their sub-brand Wilfred does very, very well. They also have, is TNA sold at Aritzia? I think it is. I'm trying to think, there's another one that I can't think of right now. Community, I don't know, it's been a while. T. Babaton, that's another one. But yeah, Aritzia stuff is super sought after, especially if you can find the little like camisole and cardigan sets in good materials. Sell great. If you're 
if you find something and you think that it's from Aritzia, but you're not sure, if you look on the interior tag, it the brand usually includes an article number. So like Madewell and J Crew and well, yeah, Madewell and J Crew they include style numbers. Aritzia includes an article number. And that's how you can easily search their items and also easily identify their items. This piece, speaking of flawed stuff, is it just has a little bit of discoloration under the arms, which I did take pictures of and note. This is Denim and Supply by Ralph Lauren. I still wanted to list it because this brand is sought after on the second secondhand market because it has been discontinued by Ralph Lauren. Denim and Supply, the line, has been discontinued by Ralph Lauren. And so people do look out for this stuff. I did list it lower though because of the flaws at 20. And someone liked it, so again, my Posh VA sent them out an $18 offer with discount ship, which was accepted. And so my earnings were $11.42 and my profit came out to $10. So I'm happy with that. Um, I could have, you know, just redonated this because of the flaw, but instead I quickly listed it and made back my investment or my expense as well as a small profit. So I think that is the best outcome for that piece. Now we have another full price sale. This is by the brand Umji, one of my tried and true bread and butter brands. This is really pretty. It's a long line kimono duster, lightweight, side vents, fringe trim, and all of the floral that you see is embroidered. So yeah, definitely a higher quality, I would say, than some just kind of boutique stuff. 100% cotton, so it's natural, breathable. And this you could definitely wear in different seasons. It's definitely lightweight enough for summertime, but I feel like the colors are kind of fall time. So yeah, a versatile piece here. Sold full price for $30. This has been listed for a couple weeks now. My earnings were $24 and my profit came out to $22.50. We have a pair of pants. This was a very exciting sale. I was so excited to see this. So actually, were these relisted? Maybe they weren't or maybe they were. I have had these Hudson waxed jeans, like coated green denim jeans for probably six to nine months now. It's been a while and they have been listed at $50. I got a $42 offer, which I was so excited about. I obviously accepted that, making my earnings $33.60. I paid $2.25 for these at my Family Thrift Center outlet. They were not a relisted piece, so someone just found them in my closet and offered on them. They are, they look brand new, and these probably did retail for a couple hundred. Hudson is ex an expensive brand and these are a newer piece from the brand. These aren't like dated or older or anything like that. And the green color is so good for fall time. I love this color. So yeah, my profit on these was $31. I had a feeling when I picked them up that they would sit for a while. Colored jeans or denim pants usually does sit for me, but I, I knew that they would eventually sell for a pretty decent price. So yeah, uh, if these, oh, I have a, have a big string on me. When did that happen? Has that been there the whole time? That's embarrassing. 
If that's been bothering you, I apologize. That's like my worst nightmare with filming is that something is like stuck on me and I can't see it. And then it's just there to annoy everyone and also myself while I'm editing. But maybe that hasn't been there the whole time. Who knows? Um, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. But happy to get those moved out. Okay, our last couple sales before I need to go down to the post office. I think everything from now on has sold within this week, yesterday or today, I want to say. Maybe not. At least from Sunday on. So we're fine if some stuff is shipped tomorrow. Okay, so now we have a, what is that, five, oh, darn just mixed up my labels okay let me let me get my labels back in order here oh wait no i didn't yeah no we're fine everything's fine yeah we're good okay i do want to pull up a picture of this bundle sale. Anytime I'm packaging a bundle sale, I like to have a visual, a big bundle sale. Okay, so our first piece is this J. Jill color block sweater in a size small, uh, kind of a beachy nubby knit here. I've had this for about a month now. I'm always a little bit more hesitant to pick up J. Jill in smaller sizes. This is a size small because they do sit for a little bit longer but they usually do end up selling, so I do still get them. Second piece is this cardigan from Anthropology. Has a balloon sleeve, textured knit throughout, very soft, and then it has this lace-up corset detail in back. It's by their brand Tila or TLA in a size medium. This rust orange color is so great for fall time. Okay, third piece is by Lucky Brand. Just a basic long sleeve blouse from Lucky Brand. I have sold so many of these. Um, I usually, again, same kind of thing. I am a little bit hesitant to pick these up in smaller sizes because they do sit for longer. This one... I've had for probably six to nine months now, but they do eventually sell, so I do still get them. If that had been plus size, it would have sold within the week of being listed. Okay, fourth piece is a boutique brand, Olivacious. I threw this into my bag at the bins because I just thought it was so cute. It kind of has a 70s style to it with the flare sleeve and this retro floral print. And our very last item in this bundle is this Free People, is that Space Dye Thermal Top with Thumb Holes. It's by We The Free. Really cute. So that is everything in this bundle. I actually haven't I actually need to lint roll one of these tops. I accidentally skipped it when I was prepping for the video. So I am going to give that my uh, double check to make sure it has no flaws and lint roll it before I seal this up. So I'm going to set this box right there until I do that. But I will go over pricing with you guys. So when everything was added to a bundle, the bundle price came out to $131. That does include my automatic bundle discount of 15% off three items or more. I was offered 110, which I accepted. Mainly because, like I said, I have had a couple of those pieces for a while now. That Olivacious 70s style top I've had for three or four months. The Lucky Brand top I've had for, uh, what did I say, six to nine months. That was actually relisted and everything else sold relatively quickly. So, yeah, my earnings were $88 and my profit came out to $81 on that bundle. So I am happy with that. I'm just gonna set that label down there. We have another full price sale. This is a little square scarf handkerchief 
kind of thing. This, did I say it's from Madewell, was originally sold in a pack of three for like $30. And I listed mine at 15 and someone just went in and purchased it at full price, which I could not be happier about. That was, that like basically made my day. I was so excited. <laughs> I just knew I was probably gonna get an offer on this. And it's so lightweight. I probably paid like 25 cents, maybe 50 cents for this at the outlet. And my earnings were 12. So yeah, my profit was $11.50. And this was so easy to photo. So I mean, that just goes to show you don't discount the less substantial stuff at the bins. I wouldn't advise you guys to spend a whole lot of time like taking photos or doing research on it. If it's stuff that you can get listed, get photoed and get listed really quick, but your profit is going to be smaller, that's okay. You know, everything adds up. Okay, I think we're going to do our last sale here before I run everything down. First off is this Alambica brand sweater. This is a huge bolo brand, very lagging look style, size extra large, which is a great style for, or size for this style. This is a wool blend sweater. It might even be alpaca blend. So high quality, so minimalist, contemporary, artsy, everything. I love the color block greens to this. You know what? I think I'm going to put this, I built one last box number seven for this bundle. So we're going to put that into here, put this into here. <laughs> okay. So yeah, here's the sweater. Second piece is this gorgeous Cullen brand cashmere, super fine merino wool blend brown poncho sweater. This is so pretty and luxurious. I love this love the color and lastly Eileen Fisher 100% wool long line loose knit short sleeve cardigan in a size medium this does have a small flaw one of the holes in the knit the knit is designed to have this like holy uh, design to it texture kind of thing and one of those is like elongated. And I did disclose that obviously in the listing, took a picture of it. When the three of these were added together, the bundle price came out to $127.50. And I sent the potential buyer a $95 offer with discount ship. I did include an extra discount because of that Eileen Fisher flaw on the cardigan. Also, I have had the Alambica sweater for a couple months now and the Cullen cashmere brown poncho. I've had so much interest on it, but I've been getting a lot of low ball offers. So yeah, I sent a $95 offer with discount ship, which was accepted. That made my earnings $73 with two cents. I paid about five for everything. And so my profit was $68 on this bundle. So yeah, these are all gorgeous pieces for upcoming fall and winter time. I hope the buyer thoroughly enjoys this bundle. And with that, I'm going to load everything up and run down to the post office. I will be right back. Alrighty. I am back from the post office, ready to jump back in to shipping. So next we have a great sale, a great thrift find and sale. This is a two piece, 100% organic linen size one X matching set from Eileen Fisher, wide cropped pull on pants, wide leg cropped pull on pants. And then the top is a sleeveless blouse. So tank with a little keyhole opening and back both the same size, both in good condition. The pants have some very minor signs of wear, but really nothing noticeable in any kind of way. 
So yeah, you can imagine my excitement when I found this at the bins. This was in a bin that was, I had just gotten there for the day. And so I ran over to the oldest bin to just quickly look through it before they rolled it back to the back. And I found this set in that bin. I was so surprised no one had picked it up, but that just kind of shows you that not everyone is looking for what you're looking for. I listed this at $115. This set easily retailed at like $350. Eileen Fisher is so expensive, especially their higher quality fabrics like organic cotton, organic linen, cashmere, alpaca, that kind of thing. So yeah, I listed at $115 and within, I would say two weeks, I received an offer for 85, which I did counter to 90 and that was accepted. If that had been in excellent condition, unworn, I probably would have listed at 125 and would have taken no less than 100. But, you know, with the very minor signs of wear, I was happy with a $90 sale price. My earnings came out to 72 and my profit was right at $70 on that. So, very, very happy about that sale. Next we have a bra. You guys know I absolutely love selling bras. This one looks so comfy. It's by the brand Soma. It's their Vanishing 360 wireless bra in a size 38B. A really nice tan color. Excellent condition. I do not pick up bras unless they look virtually brand new. No pilling, no signs of wear. A lot of people buy bras and quickly realize that they just aren't going to work for them. So then they donate them with little to no signs of wear. And that's where I come in and find them a new home. Uh, I sent, or I had this listed at 28. Someone liked it. And so Posture VA sent out a $25 offer with discount ship which was accepted. My earnings were 17 and my profit was right at 16 on this bra. So that's a great, quick, low effort, low energy, low time profit. It really takes me no time at all to photo and list bras. Speaking of, we have a sports bra here from Gymshark. This was a relisted piece. I have had this for a long time now, probably like six to nine months. And I relisted it was that yesterday within a couple days or a couple days ago. And okay, so same kind of thing. It was listed at 28. Someone liked it. And so my posture VA sent them out a $25 offer with discount ship. So yeah, my total profit came out to $16 on this bra as well. So I mean, when you add up the last two sales, that's $32 in profit that I made from just snapping pictures of a couple bras. You really cannot beat that. I highly encourage you guys to not discount bras just because, you know, they are a little bit less substantial. Um, they are in turn lighter weight. And if you're shopping at the outlet, you pay less for them. I feel like there is something in my contact. I think one of those fuzzy sweaters, something got in my contact. Okay, now we have, so this is a bundle sale, but I listed these two pieces together, so it was just one listing. This is a basic black Lululemon tank with a scoop, a low scoop back. And then these little shorts spotted, kind of like in, I guess that's just like a polka dot print. Um, I listed these in a bundle together. They, the top has some lint on it, like just a little bit of uh, like wash wear, not even wash wear, just loose lint kind of thing that you can't easily lint roll off. And so because of that, I didn't want to list it on its own. So I just threw the shorts into the listing. And honestly, it's a nice little set, workout set. The, they were around the same size. And I listed them together. 
Oh no, my coffee is getting on my thank you stickers. I listed the two of these for 38. I just took flat lay pictures very quick. Someone offered me 20 and I did actually decline that offer. I will only decline offers if I feel like we will not be able to meet at a middle ground. Like I had this listed at 38 and a $20 offer just kind of said to me that they weren't really serious about buying it. Like they just kind of wanted to lowball kind of thing. Like I didn't want to accept $20 for that. So yeah, I just declined it. And then they came back with a new offer of 25, which I did counter that to 28 and they did accept that. I'm making my earnings $22 and 40 cents and my profit right around 20 on that little bundle listing set. I need to need to fix my contact number one, but I also need to wipe up this condensation from my coffee, but I don't have anything. Actually, yes, I do. I'll be right back. I have my little rag here. Just wipe this up real quick. I use old t-shirts, stained t-shirts and tank tops as rags around my office instead of just throwing them away. Moving on, three piece bundle. I might have to go put some contact solution on my contact. First off, we have this gorgeous J. Jill open front sweater vest. Really pretty piece here. I primarily purchased this because it is 60% alpaca and because it is J. Jill. I did just want to say thank you guys for being so responsive, I guess you'd say, in my comment section to basically all of my chatting, my last couple Ship With Me videos. I know I have been doing a lot of chatting, but it really does evoke some really good feedback from you guys and I, I know I'm not the best at replying to comments on YouTube but I do read every single comment that I get. It's always so interesting to me what you guys have to say and how you respond to things that I say in the video because obviously you can't in live time. So yeah I just wanted to say a quick thanks for being so responsive and listening and interacting with all of my chatter, I guess you'd say. Okay, second piece is an accessory. This is a Numatags Kate Spade scarf. All, yeah, all three of these were bin spines. And they all sold relatively, relatively quickly within a week to two weeks of being listed. So yeah, Numatags Kate Spade scarf. It's pretty long. And it has little pockets and bows at both ends. This is really soft. It feels kind of like a cashmere or wool blend. However, I believe it is only, yeah, it's 100% acrylic. But it is really nice quality. If that had been a nicer fabric blend, I would have listed it higher than I did. I think I listed it at like 35-ish, but if it had been nicer quality wool, cashmere, alpaca, I would have listed it closer to 50. Uh, last piece, altered state, little closet staple, black ribbed crop top with a organza puff sleeve. Did I say altered state? This is new with tags. It retailed at $50. Altered state is pretty expensive. It's kind of like a mid-tier boutique, but it is pretty pricey. So yeah, I didn't want to leave that when I found it. Again, kind of like bras, I just very quickly flat laid that and took me probably 45 seconds to get it listed in my closet. So I think these will fit in a 1095 box. Let me add my thank you stickers, grab my box here. So when the three of these were added together, the bundle price came out to $85.85. And I sent the potential buyer a $65 offer with discount ship that was accepted, making my earnings $49.02. I paid four for everything, 
and so my profit was right around $45. I did include an additional discount because the Altered States and the Kate Spade scarf did take me so little time to list. $45 for everything was a good return on my time, energy, and money invested into this bundle. So, hope the buyer loves it. Really nice fall time pieces there. Another three-piece bundle, believe it or not. First piece is this American Eagle jumpsuit. This is actually something else that I flat laid very quickly. It's a gingham print one shoulder jumpsuit. Yeah, here's the front. It has a tie waist and then a wide, I think full length leg. It is lined. It's pretty good quality, I would say. And it does have pockets, which makes it just that much more practical and nice. Second piece is this pair of pants. These are the brand Mine, which meant pretty much nothing to me. I did get these because of several reasons. The cut, the pull-on comfy elastic waist pant with a wide leg, also this minimalist grid slash window pane print as well as the material they are a hundred percent cotton and I think they were a size large size medium so yeah pretty much everything about these made them sellable I would definitely wear all of the pieces in this sale they definitely have kind of a boho flair to them but still contemporary and classic kind of pieces I would say okay third and final piece is this Diletta from Anthropology really soft stretchy faux wrap blouse otherwise known as a surplice or crossover front uh, very soft it's that soft stretch jersey knit I am selective with the Diletta sub-brand from Anthro just because I have noticed it sitting in the past. Uh, but I did want to get this because again, it just had so much going for it. The fabric is really nice and comfy. It had all the details, the crossover, the tie, waist, the bell sleeve. I like the color. It's a good fall time color and it was in excellent condition. So the bundle price was 76 and I was offered 60. I did accept that, my earnings were 48 and my profit came out to $42. So once again, I really hope the buyer loves these pieces. I have had those grid print pants for a couple months now the American Eagle jumpsuit, I would say I've had for also a couple months, but the Diletta top I did list within the last couple weeks. Our last three sales, we first have this Lord of the Rings button down, button up blouse top with embroidered novelty leaves on the collar. This was originally sold at Hot Topic. Anything that is novelty for like a movie or especially if it's a popular movie like Lord of the Rings, it is going to sell well. I found this in the same bin as I found that I found a Doctor Who jacket and that jacket sold really well. It was also from Hot Topic. So I knew that this top would sell also. Uh, anything that's like, you know, just very niche and it being sold at Hot Topic does increase the marketability of it, I would say, uh, because you can add that as keywords, Hot Topic. A lot of people search stuff out like that. Like someone might have searched for this Hot Topic Lord of the Rings and just to see what's on the secondhand market. 
uh, because the stuff is pretty expensive and they probably know that it's good quality and it's going to be like really cool kind of stuff. Does that make sense? Like versus being sold from like a costume store or some kind of like lesser quality. Hot Topic is good quality and they're going to make themed stuff that is true to the movie, true to the show, that kind of thing. So I had that listed at 35. Someone offered me 20. I did counter at 22, which is kind of low. But like I said, that is a very specific niche kind of top. I have had it for a couple months now. So I was happy with 22. That was accepted. My earnings were $17.60 and my profit was $16.60. Alrighty, moving along, another relisted piece. I think the last sale was just relisted as well. So guys, stop what you're doing, go relist some stuff, get it sold. This is by the brand Hellbunny, which is a huge bolo, especially in extra large and up. This one is a size extra large. It's a lemon novelty printed halter style dress. Anything that is in this cut or style, you do want to add some specific keywords, notably pinup, rockability, uh, retro, mod, but mainly pinup and rockability. Those are huge style categories that people search out. The cooler, more quirky the print is, the better. And like I said, size extra large and up sells phenomenally. So yeah, this was relisted. I, I did have it for probably three months or so. Um, it was relisted like yesterday, I want to say, for $40. And then this morning, someone liked it. And so my posture VA sent them out a $36 offer with discount ship, which was accepted. My earnings were $25.82. This was a family thrift center outlet find. And so my profit was $23.57 on that dress. Alrighty, our very last sale for today is this Lululemon sweater. It's called the Cash Lou, which makes me think it's a cashmere Luan blend sweater. It feels very luxurious. It has thumb holes, really no pilling or fuzziness to it. Really nice piece here. I had this listed at 50. I'm almost positive I just relisted this. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure I did. And someone offered me 43, which I accepted. My earnings came out to $34.40. And my profit was $32.15, which I am so happy with. Happy to get this moved out. I've had this for, again, a couple months, maybe three months or so. And so, yeah. Especially, you know, I listed this in the summertime, and it was time to relist it because this is kind of a transitional sweater slash fall time sweater. It's a lighter knit, so it's the perfect time to get new eyes on it and get it sold. So yeah, get your stuff relisted. Anything that is a lightweight knit or, you know, vest, loose knit kind of thing, booties, get them relisted, get them sold. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and I will see you guys soon. Bye y'all.